everybody, Rebecca here. Today we are going to change a flat tire. Um, yeah, flat tires are part of mountain biking. Although I will say, maybe I jinxed myself, but I haven't had a flat tire in uh, more than a year, which is pretty cool. Anyway, but you gotta know how to change one. So we're gonna go through the quick steps, super easy. Um, it's not a big deal. Uh, you should always ride with tire flat changing, even if you run tubeless, which I do. So first things first, I'm gonna do a rear tire because that seems to be uh, more intimidating for people because you've got the cassette and the derailleur. So the first thing I do is um, shift to the smallest gear. So that just makes it easier to get the chain on and off. Um, then, if you have a SRAM derailleur, um, they've got a little cool little lock thing that you can push here to push just like that to um, take the tension off the chain. If you don't have that, it's totally fine. You just use your thumb to take the tension off the chain. It makes it easier to get the wheel out. So start there. You're going to take out the skewer. Ooh, quick release. Save these. Try not to put them in the dirt. All right, and then, yeah, release the tension on the chain and the wheel drops right out. And you get your hands dirty sometimes, but that's okay. I like to lay my bike down with the drivetrain up, keeps things clean. All right, so now on to changing the tire. We're imagining that this is flat. Oh yeah, wah, wah, Reba's got a flat. So you gotta get the, um, the tire off first. If you have sealant in there, it's fine. You're just gonna put a tube in, but it's a, a little messy. You get a little bit of sealant around. So I like to keep my tools and all my tire changing stuff in uh, kind of organized in my Camelback here. A couple cool little uh, pieces that I carry. If you do have a small sidewall tear, you can uh, sometimes without having to put a tube in and, and fix it, um, you can use these little tire plugs that are kind of cool. So you thread this little sticky thing through the hole and pull it back out. So if you're racing or really charging, sometimes this is a quick fix. If it's too big of a sidewall tear, that won't work. Um, but if you have a little small one, these things are pretty magic. So I always have one of those with me. Uh, but you've got to get the tire off. So tire levers, stick it underneath the bead there, spin it around, and your tire is going to come off. Sealant, you probably want to um, dump it out so you don't get it all over the place. And then if you're running tubeless, you got to take uh, this valve stem out because that's a special one for tubeless tires. If you're not running tubeless, you just take out the tire that you've got, or the tube that you've got in there. You want to keep all this stuff for later, because uh, if you go back to the shop and get your tires set up tubeless again, you want to have all those little pieces. So then, what's important is to kind of figure out why you got a flat. Um, so you're going to look at the sidewalls and see is there a big tear, is there a big hole. Um, look at the base of it, see if there's thorns in there. Um, you can also feel around. If you can't see a thorn or can't figure it out, you can feel with your hand, um, which is a really good idea to see if there's a little thorn in there. Um, because if there is one and you don't pull it out, as soon as you put a tube in, you're going to get another flat two seconds later. And I've done that. Um, so I'm going to dump this fluid out. It's a little messy. All right, and I don't feel anything in there. So if you did have a big sidewall tear that the plug wouldn't fill, so what you can do then is um, you're gonna have to boot the tire. So these are little tire boots, just a little piece of plastic. So say the tear is right here. I'm just gonna place that inside between the tube and the tire um, to form a seal. If you don't have one of these, um, a goo packet will work, a dollar bill. Even you could use a little piece of plastic. So then you're gonna stick your tube in. I like to keep my tubes in plastic because they rub around inside your pack. You can put holes in them. So, like I said, I haven't had a flat in a year, so this has been in there a while. So you want to make sure it's not getting trashed inside your pack. Taking off the little nut that's on there, you're going to need that for later, so don't lose that guy. All right, so keep those. Then you're going to put a little air in the tire just to make it easier to, to handle. 
if I'm racing, I'll use CO2, but kind of in the real world, I like to use pumps because it's just a little less waste. I've always got one of these guys with me. It's a mini pump, so you get lots of pumps. You get a good workout. <laughs> so you just want enough air to give that tube a little bit of shape while you're putting it in. All right, and you want to be careful of, especially a place like this, there's thorns all over the place, you want to be careful that you keep your, your new tire all fresh and clean. All right. Stick that in there. Hit your little handy nut. So you need this to keep the valve stem in the rim. So if you lose it, it's not a deal breaker, but it's it's definitely better to have it. And I left the other side of the tire on. You only have to take the one side off. All right, and then I put in either put in my tire boot or remove the thorn. Then you're going to put the rim or the tire back on the rim. You can just push it with your hands. I kind of start at the at the stem and then push around. And if it's really hard at the end and you can't get it on there, you can use your tire lever again. Push it under there and pop it on. Then a little, I like to just sort of make sure the tube is not caught in the edges at all. Just a little squeeze. And uh, another fun part where you get the workout. <laughs> open that, open up the little closure on the tube and then you just start to pump away. Something with these mini pumps to, to keep in mind, um, the valve stem's a little bit fragile. So if you're wiggling back and forth and back and forth, you can actually rip the valve stem off. So I like to support with my hand um, and then you just start pumping. And you pump for a long time. <laughs> Okay, we're there, we got enough air. So, important part, you gotta close up the valve stem. Tighten that nut down a little bit. All right, so now you just stick the wheel back in. So you're gonna put it back on the smallest cog where you started and you split the chain. So um, one side of the chain goes on top, one goes on the bottom. It took me a long time to figure that one out. Right, and then you can release the tension on the chain if you've locked it open. And then, what you can do is uh, the axle back in this guy. Sometimes it drops in perfectly, sometimes it doesn't. There we go. So that'll slide in, and then you'll hit the threads on the other side. Close that up till it's snug. And then tighten it down. So then what I like to do is uh, take a little spin of the tire, check the brake, make sure it's all in and good to go. Time to go riding. That was easy, right? <laughs> Switch arms. <laughs> <laughs>